My name is James Blake. I'm a working class lad from Lisburn in Northern Ireland. My dad, who passed away a number of years ago, didn't even have a bank account. He had nothing. <laughs> he was a taxi driver his whole life. Six years ago, I set up my own digital marketing agency. I had 500 quid when I started my business. I had nothing, nothing at all. I've just hit 30, and my life today is the image of success. In business, image and branding is everything. Tesla wouldn't be what it is without Elon Musk. Apple wouldn't be what it is without Steve Jobs. My whole world is digital and it's all online. And my personal Insta is a massive part of getting business in. Ready? When I got a Lamborghini, I posted it all the time. When I bought a McLaren, I posted it all the time. And when I get a watch, I post it up. So there I was, living my best life, until... I had a guy leave a one-star review on my company's page and said, the man that runs this company messes around with other people's wives. And I, I seen it and was like, what? I messaged the guy and he sent me screenshots of his wife planning to divorce him and marry me and adopt his children, which is nuts. You know, like, that's crazy. I started looking and I found all these profiles using pictures of me and my stuff. They were everywhere. None of them were mine. What the fuck was going on? Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, Telegram, WhatsApp, Bumble, Hinge, Tinder, Grindr, Luxie. Even my dog Lily was being used in a GoFundMe. The messages from randoms just kept coming in. Some of them were saying I'd stolen their money. One woman that came out of nowhere and it was 50,000, like 50 grand. And that was when I kind of went, Oh shit, this is serious. Someone had stolen my face and my name and was using me to scam people out of money. And I needed to find out who. I'm doing a social media shout out to try to talk to people who've been messaged by the fake accounts. Within days, people started getting in touch. Soon I had literally hundreds of DMs. Mallory reached out to me initially to say that she believes somebody is catfishing on Tinder here in the USA claimed to be called Carl. So I'm going to speak to her today just about what happened and how she found out that he was fake in the end. So I just, I just don't really know what to expect. It is a wee bit nerve-wracking to do this kind of call. Hey, Mallory. Hi, James. Thank you for coming on and, and joining me on, on Zoom. Are you having a good day? No problem. Yeah, I'm having a great day. Thank you so much for reaching out to me on Instagram about the, the fake account and the WhatsApp and everything like that. How did you meet the fake orig originally? Um, it was on Tinder. I mean, I thought you were very good looking. And so I, I swiped right. Your pictures seemed like you were just a genuine person. And that was really attractive to me. And then it turned out to be the absolute opposite. Because <laughs> it, yeah. it wasn't a genuine person at all. That's crazy. How did you realize that it was fake? How did, how did you realize that this, this was a scammer? I asked to video chat. Yeah. And the person was like, well, I don't video chat, babe, like, <laughs> until I meet you. Like, I just like to keep things private. And I was like, that's not, yeah. that's not real. I can't believe I actually got catfished. You know, you <laughs> never think it's going to happen to you. Dating is just dumb online, I think. You don't really know if it's a real person or a troll or a robot. Yeah. Or I've reported hundreds of profiles on the social media platforms just don't do anything. I'm very sorry that this has happened to you. The more content I create, the more content the scammers have to use. Anybody really is a potential victim. It's like I have built my own prison. I want to get my identity back so much. 